Chapter 61 Grade 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 61 Grade 2, It's Su Ishio, Right Seeing how serious Liang Hua was, the form teacher of Class 2 came over. She was more curious about Qin Churu's results. She heard from Liang Hua that Qin Churu would be able to participate in the math competition if she was ranked third in the entire class. That child is always ranked first every time. It's not strange, Liang Hua said with a smile. She looked at the first and second places. It was Su Yixiu and Lu Ming. She then looked at Qin Churu's results and found her at the 11th place in the entire school. Liang Hua was a little unhappy. She had just said that she would send her to participate in the math competition, but Qin Churu had given her such a result. Wasn't this a slap to her face? Teacher Liang, Su Yixiu from your class actually got second place and Lu Ming got third place. The teacher dot in dot charge of class 2's voice was very surprised and very loud. Teacher Li, you must have seen wrongly. Su Yixiu got second place. How is that possible? Su Yixiu is the best in our school. The teacher dot in dot charge of class 3 looked over. She only thought that the teacher dot in dot charge of class 2 was joking. If you don't believe me, look. A bright 2 entered her eyes. The teacher in charge of class 3's words was stuck in her throat. Liang Hua was the same. She looked at the results in disbelief. She was certain that the first and second place was in her class. She did not look at the ranking of the entire grade. At this moment, when she was shouted by the teacher in charge of class 2, her gaze was attracted. When she saw the second place, she stood rooted to the ground. Her eyes were filled with disbelief. Su Yixiu isn't the first. If the first place doesn't appear in class 1, then who is the first place? Teacher Li, is there such a first place in your class? The teacher in charge of class 2 shook her head. The highest ranking in my class is 10th. As she thought of something, the teacher in charge of class 3 widened her eyes. There isn't any in class 1, class 2, or class 3. This can't be class 4, right? Impossible. No matter which class the first place appears in, it can't be class 4. The difference between class 4 and the rest of the school is well dot known. The teacher in charge of class 2 had doubts in her heart. If she wasn't mistaken, there was only one possibility. Their gazes fell on the ranking list on Teacher Lin's desk. Liang Hua rushed over, grabbed the ranking list, and looked at it. Qin Sheng, 736 points, first in class, first in the whole school. Physics. 298, first in the ranking list. Mathematics. 148, first in the ranking list. English. 147, first in the ranking list. Chinese. 143, first in the ranking list. First in the total score, first in a single subject, all of them belong to Qin Sheng. As for Su Yixiu, his score was 724, second in a single subject and second in the total score. Liang Hua's face was very dark. Qin Sheng must have cheated. The class teachers of class 2 and class 3 stared at the ranking list in a daze. After a long while, they raised their heads to look at each other. They could see disbelief in their eyes. This was Qin Sheng, first place. Didn't they say that when she was studying in the countryside, her results were very poor? This time, the questions for all the subjects were very difficult. Even Su Yixiu only got 724 points, and Lu Ming was even more so. He was ranked third in the entire school and only got 712 points. And Qin Sheng was actually 12 points higher than Su Yixiu. Who was Su Yixiu? He was the top student that all the teachers in the school could not stop praising. Since he was young, in national competitions such as the Olympics. As long as he participated, he would be the champion. In the past two years of high school, he had always gotten first place, 
and no one had ever been able to surpass him. Dot as soon as Qin Shen came, she snatched first place away from him. The class teacher of class 2 asked in a daze, are Qin Sheng's results real? I'm not sure, the class teacher of class 3 replied. After saying that, they all looked at Liang Hua in unison. Chapter 62 Cheating You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 62 Cheating Liang Hua clenched the papers in her hands tightly, her face dark. She went to Teacher Lin's seat and rummaged through the four sets of papers. Now, the papers for each subject were first placed in the positions of the class teachers, who would then send them to the hands of the teachers. In a short while, Teacher Liang had found the four sets of papers for Qin Sheng. She first looked at the English paper. Seeing the composition question, she quickly skimmed through the answers written by Qin Sheng. Teacher Liang laughed. Qin Sheng cheated. No wonder she could get a high score of 736 and get first place. So she cheated. Otherwise, I say, how could Qin Sheng surpass Su Yixiu and Lu Ming? Such a student with bad character must not be allowed to stay. Liang Hua took the five sets of test papers and the ranking list and rushed out of the teacher's office. When she reached the door, she bumped into Teacher Lin. Liang Hua stopped for a moment and her eyes were full of ridicule, Teacher Lin, Qin Sheng in your class is really good. Her grades are bad and her character is bad. She cheated and got the first place. I wonder how many students in your class cheated like Qin Sheng. Teacher Lin frowned slightly. Liang Hua said, don't you like Qin Sheng the most? I want to see how you can protect her this time. After saying that, she sneered and went straight to the principal's office. Although Teacher Lin believed that Qin Sheng wouldn't cheat, she was worried and followed her. The form teachers of class 2 and class 3 looked at each other. Their eyes were filled with schadenfreude. They did not wish for Qin Sheng to really cheat. This was a rare opportunity to make Liang Hua suffer. However, if Qin Sheng really had such results, then wouldn't they have sent away a top student who was even more powerful than Su Yixiu for nothing? They were also anxious to know if Qin Sheng had cheated, so they quickly went to the principal's office. Cheating was not a small matter. Students could be punished or expelled. In order to verify, the principal called the teachers who were supervising Qin Sheng's examination over. Dot, principal, Qin Sheng scored 736 points this time, a full 12 points higher than student Su Yixiu. How could she get such a good result? She must have cheated. Liang Hua's words were very certain. She came from a poor mountain, and her results were poor. How could she have gotten first place when she came? Every subject was close to full marks, and it was under the condition that the exam was difficult. Just as she finished speaking, the teacher who was supervising Qin Sheng's science exam frowned and said, Principal, I was supervising Qin Sheng. She didn't cheat at all. The teachers who were supervising Qin Sheng's other subjects also echoed, Principal, I didn't see Qin Sheng cheat either. Qin Sheng was born to be the center of the crowd. Those invigilators paid more attention to Qin Sheng. They were very clear that Qin Sheng didn't cheat in the examination room. She didn't cheat in the examination room, but that doesn't mean that she didn't cheat. Liang Hua sneered and looked at the principal. Principal, there are invigilators and surveillance cameras in the examination room. Qin Sheng wouldn't cheat in the examination room openly. What I want to say is that she found out about the contents of the examination in private and then found someone to do it or find the answer online. Liang Hua thought that Qin Sheng must have cheated. The physics teacher who invigilated Qin Sheng's science and technology was a person who loved talent. He stood out and defended Qin Sheng very much. Our grade 3 examination papers have always been locked in the safe. Only the grade director has the key and it has never been leaked. How did Qin Sheng know the contents of the examination in advance? Chapter 63 Cheating 2 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 63 
Cheating too, otherwise, tell me, how did Qin Sheng pass Su Yixiu in the exam? If Qin Sheng is a genius, why did she only have passing marks in the past? Liang Hua replied rudely. The principal rubbed the space between his eyebrows, feeling a headache. Teacher Liang, do you have any proof that Qin Sheng cheated ENV when the principal heard that Qin Sheng had a higher score than Su Yixiu, he was also shocked. He did not wish for Qin Sheng to cheat to obtain this result. In his heart, if Qin Sheng was such a genius and Su Yixiu was around, then H City High School would be able to shine after the college entrance exam, including him as the principal. Liang Hua curled her lips and slapped the exam paper in front of the principal. Principal, the answer written by Qin Sheng on this question is exactly the same as the reference answer. If she didn't cheat, how did Qin Sheng do it? An English teacher frowned. She had commented on this paper before and was shocked for quite a while. She said, the answer on this paper is indeed the same as the reference answer. Principal, isn't this obvious cheating? Are you still thinking of defending Qin Sheng? Liang Hua's words had a questioning tone. The principal was also suspicious. Seeing the principal's expression, Liang Hua said proudly, Principal, I think that people like Qin Sheng who cheat in exams must not be easily bypassed. If this gets out, our H City High School's reputation will be ruined. We should record it in Qin Sheng's file and then expel her. I think, Principal, you won't tolerate a student with a bad character who cheats in exams, right? At this moment, Teacher Lin, who had been silent all this while, stood up and said, Principal, I think we should call Qin Sheng over to verify it. The principal had been unable to make a decision, so he was suspicious. However, he would not casually punish a student. Expulsion and demerit on the file was a stain that would follow a student for the rest of his life. At this moment, when he heard Teacher Lin's words, he hurriedly nodded. All right, call student Qin Sheng over. Liang Hua didn't stop him. In her opinion, regardless of whether Qin Sheng came or not, it was the same. Qin Sheng must have cheated. Qin Sheng was called over. The principal's office wasn't big, but it was filled with teachers. Upon seeing Qin Sheng, Liang Hua sneered coldly. With her back facing the other teachers, she mouthed to Qin Sheng, You dare to fight with me. You are finished. Upon seeing this scene, Qin Sheng immediately understood what had happened. The corners of her lips curled up. It was not certain who was finished. Today was just a trap that she had set up. The principal's attitude was very gentle. Student Qin Sheng, you're here. Some teachers said that you cheated. Do you have anything to say? Qin Sheng, don't try to quibble. I have evidence to prove that you cheated. Liang Hua sneered. Qin Sheng's gaze was slightly cold. Oh, what evidence is that? Liang Hua picked up the English test paper and threw it in front of Qin Sheng. This is the evidence. Qin Sheng, you copied the answers you found on the internet. If you didn't know the contents of the test beforehand, how could you have done the exact same thing as the reference answers? Qin Sheng sneered, based on this. You also know that the last set of the English test paper is a set of test papers from other places. I have seen the answers, and with my good memory, I memorized the answers. Is it strange? As you said, Teacher Liang, I knew the contents of the test in advance. If that's the case, why would I copy the answers? Isn't this admitting it without beating myself up? Qin Sheng had memorized the answers. She could have avoided copying the answers on the internet. However, she wanted to use this opportunity to teach Liang Hua a lesson. Liang Hua often tripped her up. She wasn't someone who was willing to be wronged. Hence, she had set up this trap for a few days. Chapter 64 Cheating 3 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 64 Cheating 3 The principal and the other teachers nodded in agreement. Liang Hua did not believe Qin Sheng's words. Then tell me, how did you pass Su Yixiu's test results this time? 
Qin Xing ignored Liang Hua and looked at the principal. Principal, if I didn't cheat and teacher Liang slandered me again and again, how would you punish her? The principal coughed lightly. I will give you justice. Liang Hua sneered, Qin Sheng, if you really can prove that you didn't cheat, then I will apologize to class for in front of all the students in the school. If you cheated, don't blame the principal for kicking you out of the school. With the stain of cheating, all the high schools in H city will not accept you. Okay then. Qin Sheng got Liang Hua's promise and said, I'm a genius, and Su Yixiu is also a human. Why can't I do better than him? Does it mean that as long as I surpass him, it's cheating? Liang Hua pointed at the English exam paper again. Then Qin Sheng, let me ask you. You usually score zero on the English exam paper, but this time, you scored 147 points. How do you explain that? In the English test paper, other than composition, there were multiple choice questions. If I didn't know all the correct answers and then wrote down the wrong answer, how do you think I could have scored zero when the multiple choice questions were filled up? Qin Xing spoke very slowly, but it hit Liang Hua's heart hard. It was indeed as Qin Xing said, but she had never thought of such a situation. Liang Hua thought of the test paper she saw on Lin Ke's desk. Qin Xing's score was full, and her face turned pale. Could it be that Qin Xing really didn't cheat? Teacher Liang, I was often targeted by you in class. Which time didn't I answer your question perfectly? If my English wasn't good, would I be able to do this? Qin Sheng was very confident. The contrast between her and Liang Hua's pale face was very obvious. The principal and the other teachers subconsciously leaned towards Qin Sheng, thinking that she didn't cheat. Qin Sheng, then your score in the countryside has just reached the passing mark. Explain, Liang Hua said with a stiff neck. Liang Hua's attitude caused the principal to be dissatisfied. It was very obvious that Liang Hua was targeting Qin Sheng. Qin Sheng smiled faintly. It's all in the hands of man. I don't want to do well in the exam. I purposely kept my score at the passing mark. Is there a problem? The principal saw that Liang Hua still wanted to speak, so he became impatient. He stood up and said, since teacher Liang has determined that Qin Xing cheated, then let Qin Xing do another set of papers. Didn't you guys come up with a set of backup papers? Principal, I suggest that you come up with the questions on the spot. Otherwise, teacher Liang will think that I have also peeked at the backup papers. Qin Xing glanced at Liang Hua and spoke in a mocking tone. Liang Hua's face turned red as well. All right, then let the teachers of each subject set the questions. This time, there were a total of five questions. Four filled in the blanks, one big question, and one question with 20.5 points. There were six teachers who set the questions. Other than Liang Hua, the other five were not Qin Xing's teachers. Liang Hua racked her brains, trying to find a way out of this difficulty. Qin Xing sat in front of the spacious office desk. Coupled with the wide school uniform on her, she looked very slim. Twenty minutes later, one of the teacher's papers had been completed. It was physics. Qin Xing took it and started to write. Her attitude was very calm. From time to time, she would rotate the pen in her hand. There was no draft for each question. After pondering for a while, she began to write the answers. This time, Qin Sheng's speed was extremely fast. In less than ten minutes, she finished one question. He marked the papers on the spot. Chapter 65 Cheating for you are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 65 Cheating for Translator Dragon Boat Translation Editor Dragon Boat Translation The second and third teacher's papers were all completed. Qin Xing did one set and then another. The last subject was English. English was filled in with a word selection and a reading comprehension. Liang Hua watched Qin Xing do the questions. The corner of her lips curled up in a mocking smile as she fought with her. 
she was overestimating herself. This was the paper that she had just finished after searching for a lot of information. It was filled with very obscure and difficult words. Even she could not do it. Qin Sheng did not have much time. Let's see if she can still be arrogant this time. However, these questions did not seem to cause any problems for Qin Sheng. English was completed in less than eight minutes. Liang Hua took it mockingly. If Qin Sheng could write it, then she did not need to be a teacher. After seeing her answer, Liang Hua was stunned on the spot. She gripped the pen in her hand tightly and unwillingly made a tick on it. Towards the end, Liang Hua's face became darker and darker. The other teachers were all shocked and they saw the big red ticks. This Qin Sheng was indeed very capable. They also had the intention to test Qin Sheng's strength. They did not show any mercy. The questions were all very difficult, and none of them were easy. Qin Sheng had only done it for a very short period of time, and she had actually done it all correctly. Seeing their expressions, the principal already had the answer in his heart. He could not help but be happy. It seemed like his school was going to produce another genius, one that was even more amazing than Su Yixiu. Very quickly, all the teachers finished their evaluations. The principal said, Tell me, Qin Sheng's score. The language teacher was the first to say, Language, 98 points. Student Qin's answer was perfect, but she missed a punctuation mark. She lost two points. The math teacher said, Math, full marks. The physics teacher said, Physics, full marks. The chemistry teacher said, Chemistry, full marks. The biology teacher said, Biology, full marks. Liang Hua did not speak for a long time. The principal asked, What about English? Only then did Liang Hua reluctantly say, English, also full marks. The principal smiled and looked at Liang Hua. Teacher Liang, do you have anything else to say? Liang Hua's face turned red. She lowered her head and said, No, at this moment, Qin Sheng also smiled and mouthed to Liang Hua. Liang Hua, you're finished. She returned Liang Hua's words to her. Liang Hua's hands that hung by her side clenched together. She understood that this was a trap set up by Qin Sheng. She was waiting for her to jump and make a fool of herself. From the beginning to the end, Qin Sheng's attitude was very calm and composed. In comparison, she was like a jumping clown. Liang Hua hated her very much. She wanted to point at Qin Sheng and ask if she did it on purpose. However, being stared at by the principal and the teachers, Liang Hua did not dare to say a word. Qin Sheng did not want to stay any longer. She asked very obediently, Principal, can I leave now? The principal knew that Qin Sheng was a genius even more powerful than Su Yixiu, so he was in a very good mood. He originally thought that Qin Sheng's grades were very poor. He still had some resistance when Qin Hai sent her to H City High School. However, due to the gym that Qin Hai donated to the school, he could only agree. Ednel.co now, he was glad that he didn't push her out. Otherwise, where would he cry if he missed out on such a top student? The principal smiled even more amiably. Let's go back. Qin Sheng walked to the door and paused for a moment. She turned around and said with a faint smile, Teacher Liang, don't forget your apology. Don't worry, student Qin. As a teacher, Teacher Liang will not go back on her words, the principal said. Teacher Liang, don't you agree? Under the gaze of so many teachers, she had indeed said such words. Liang Hua could only lower her head and let out an N. Chapter 66 Qin Sheng is the first you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 66 Qin Sheng is the first Liang Hua did not feel good. The class teachers of class 2 and class 3 were also very regretful. Qin Sheng did not cheat. In this extremely difficult exam, she scored 736 points and even surpassed Su Yixiu. They really sent a top student to class 4. 
They wished they could go back to the day Qin Sheng first entered the school. They wanted to snatch Qin Sheng into their own class. This was not a problem for top students. It was also a problem for their bonuses and outstanding teachers. Just Su Yixiu alone was enough to make Liang Hua extremely happy. If Qin Sheng was here, they would be able to stand up straight. However, there was no medicine for regret. No matter how much they regretted it, they could not let Qin Sheng come to class 2 and 3. Qin Sheng returned to class 4, and the eyes of the people from class 4 all fell on Qin Sheng. If it were not for the fact that class had just started, they would have surrounded her long ago. Sheng Sheng, the teacher looking for you. Is it because you did too well in the exam? Huang Xiaoyan came over and asked with a smile. Lin Feng also turned around and pricked up his ears. Yeah, Sister Sheng, if you weren't so amazing, then why were you called away the moment you came? Qin Sheng packed up her textbooks and smiled. Someone said I cheated. 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 Huang Xiaoyan widened her eyes and said subconsciously, who slandered you? Was it Liang Hua? Lin Feng knew that Liang Hua and Qin Sheng were not on good terms. Just looking at the English class, she would occasionally want to see Qin Sheng make a fool of herself. Liang Hua was a despicable person. In class 4, the teacher that they hated the most was Liang Hua. Although Liang Hua was their English teacher, she had always looked down on them. Every day in class, she would mock them. Qin Sheng nodded. Lin Feng immediately exploded, damn, this stinky witch. He was about to say something when teacher Lin walked in. Lin Feng hurriedly turned around and sat upright, looking like an obedient student. Teacher Lin placed the Chinese test paper on the podium. She swept her gaze across the classroom and her expression softened. This time, everyone has improved a lot compared to before. The total score is almost 10 points higher than the previous test. The overall score of class 4 was relatively low and there was a lot of room for improvement. It was expected that they would be able to improve by almost 10 points in a short period of time. Moreover, the exam this time was very difficult. Teacher Lin originally thought that it was already very good that they could maintain their original scores. She didn't expect that they would improve so much. The students of class 4 were obviously happy. Smiles appeared on their faces. This improvement that was achieved through hard work gave them a great sense of achievement. Qin Sheng was also happy for them. Here, I especially want to praise student Qin Sheng. Hearing teacher Lin praise Qin Sheng, all the students in the classroom pricked up their ears. They were all very serious. Teacher Lin looked at Qin Sheng and continued, Qin Sheng's score is 736. Her total score and single dot subject scores are the best in the entire grade. As soon as she finished speaking, the classroom was eerily quiet. Other than Qin Sheng and Teacher Lin, everyone's mouths were wide open. It was as if a duck egg could be stuffed inside. Were they sure they heard correctly? Qin Sheng had gotten first place and even surpassed Su Yixiu. They knew that Qin Sheng was very powerful, but they felt that it was already the limit for her to enter the top 10. They didn't expect that not only was she in the top 10, she was also in first place. Su Yixiu, the god of learning who dominated the first place all year round, had also been pushed down by her. It was no wonder that they didn't dare to believe it. Who was Su Yixiu? He was always more than 10 points higher than the second place. In the eyes of the students of H City High School, Su Yixiu was a true god of learning, an existence that could not be surpassed. At this moment, their mouths did not shut for a long time. Chapter 67 Qin Xing The First Two You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio Chapter 67 Qin Xing The First Two Translator Dragon Boat Translation Editor Dragon Boat Translation Lin Feng raised his hand and asked in a daze, Teacher, I would like to ask how much Su Yixiu from Class 1 scored. 724 points. Our classmate Qin Sheng scored a full 12 points higher than him. 
Lin Fong. Dot. Huang Xiaoyan. Dot. The other students from class 4. Dot. It wasn't that she had just surpassed Su Yixiu, but that she had scored more than 10 points higher than him. Dot Qin Sheng must have come from another planet, right? Huang Xiaoyan turned her head and looked Qin Sheng up and down. She opened her mouth in disbelief. Sheng Sheng, I'm actually sitting at the same table as the top student in the entire grade, and she's also a god of learning. Oh my god, did I step on some dumb luck, or did I save the Milky Way galaxy in my previous life? Lin Fong was the same. He felt that this world was like a fantasy, and he couldn't even speak clearly. Sister. Sister Sheng, you're too awesome. The other students in class four also had looks of admiration on their faces. Their results were indeed at the bottom of the third year of high school in City H. After all, they were students. They naturally had a sense of admiration towards those with good results. Previously, they were very envious of Su Ishio. Su Ishio was one of the few people in class one who did not look down on them. They had quite a good impression of Su Ishio. At this moment, Qin Sheng's results were even better than Su Ishio's. The study idols of class for all shifted to Qin Sheng. They were in a good mood. They were even happier than their own progress. They all cheered. Teacher Lin did not want to ruin the atmosphere. She smiled and said, you guys can arrange this class freely. This was a math class. Teacher Lin could make the decision. As soon as she finished speaking, class 4 burst into cheers and the sound of knocking on the table could be heard. Teacher Lin, you are too handsome. Teacher Lin, you are considerate, everyone loves you. Flowers bloom. Teacher Lin was praised. She touched her arm and waved her hand. Enough, there's no need to say such words. After saying that, she walked out of the classroom, leaving the space for the students of class 4. Once Teacher Lin left, Qin Sheng was instantly surrounded by a circle of people. Lin Feng was squeezed out of the circle. He patted the head of a boy in front of him, and that boy obediently took a step back. Sister Sheng, it must be because you did too well in the exam that Liang Hua accused you of cheating. Her red that eye syndrome is acting up. Huang Xiaoyan. It seems that Xing Sheng's innocence has been proven. Ha ha ha, I really want to know Liang Hua's expression. The other students in class were also roughly understood what was going on. Liang Hua saw that Qin Sheng had passed Su Yixiu's test and did not believe Qin Sheng's results, so she slandered her for cheating. All of them were filled with righteous indignation and looked down on Liang Hua. Liang Hua did not deserve to be a teacher. However, this anger did not last long before everyone's faces broke into smiles again. Liang Hua passed by class 4 and saw Qin Sheng, who was surrounded in the middle, as well as the students of class 4, who were all laughing happily. Liang Hua's face was very dark, and her heart was filled with anger. She had always said that Qin Sheng's results were very poor and that it would lower the average score of class 4 by a large margin. At this moment, Qin Sheng, who was ranked first in the entire year, had slapped her hard on the face. She was also a little dissatisfied with Su Yixiu. Wasn't he known as the most talented student in the entire school? How could he have been left behind by more than 10 points by Qin Sheng? If it wasn't for his bad exam, why would she be so embarrassed? Liang Hua took the ranking chart and rushed into class 1. This time's exam was very difficult. The students in class 1 also knew that they didn't do very well. At this moment, they were studying very seriously. Liang Hua threw the blackboard eraser heavily on the podium. Everyone stop. When the students of class 1 saw Liang Hua's expression, their hearts skipped a beat. Only Su Yixiu and Lu Ming's expressions did not change. Chapter 68 Liang Hua got angry you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 68 Liang Hua got angry all of you are the best students in grade 3 of City H, 
but your overall score is almost 20 points lower than last time. Also, our class only got 8 places in the top 10. Do you all take my words for granted? Liang Hua took the students of class 1 as a punching bag and vented all his anger on them. The students of class 1 were reprimanded. All of their faces were flushed red and they did not dare to speak. There was silence in the class. Only Liang Hua's voice could be heard. This time, the first and tenth place is not in class 1. All of you seem to be working very hard. Why are your results so bad? You actually let Qin Sheng of class 4 get first place. Boom! Liang Hua's words caused a huge explosion in class 1. The first place was not in their class 1. Then who could surpass Su Yixiu? The students who had their heads lowered immediately raised their heads when they heard Liang Hua's words. They also understood why Liang Hua was so angry. Class 4 was the worst class, and the first place was in class 4. A Qin Sheng from class 4 crushed all the students in class 1. Wasn't this equivalent to throwing Liang Hua's face on the ground and stepping on it? They found it unbelievable that Qin Sheng had actually gotten first place. Wasn't she a poor student who had come back from the countryside? The students in class 1 felt very uncomfortable. Who couldn't get first place? It had to be Qin Sheng. A person who was kept by an old man had stepped on their heads. It was extremely embarrassing. Liang Hua's face was dark as she looked at Su Yixiu. This time, you're 12 points lower than Qin Sheng. To be honest, you've regressed this time, and Qin Sheng even snatched first place. Is it because you don't have time to focus on your studies? Liang Hua knew very well that Su Yixiu had scored 724 points. Under the extremely difficult conditions of the exam, he had already performed at his normal level. There was no regression. It was just that the first place was not in class 1. She felt embarrassed, so she vented her anger on Su Yixiu. Su Yixiu ignored Liang Hua and lowered his head to calculate the math questions. His daily life was to study, take care of his grandmother, and work to earn money. His time was very precious, so there was no need to waste it on these unimportant things. Seeing that Su Yixiu did not answer, Liang Hua was so angry that her face turned even darker. She shifted the blame onto Qin Churu and criticized Qin Churu in front of the entire class. Qin Churu, you did even worse and only got 11th place. Don't even think about this math competition. I won't let you participate in any future competitions. Qin Churu had always enjoyed the flattery and praise of others. She had never suffered such grievance. Now that she was criticized by Liang Hua, she wished she could crawl into a hole in the ground. Qin Churu's eyes turned red. She did not need to think to know that everyone in class 1 was laughing at her. It was expected that she would do badly. But Qin Sheng, how could she have gotten first place? How was that possible? Qin Sheng's results were very poor, and she had often mocked her for it. Did Qin Sheng cheat? Qin Churu was the same as Liang Hua. The first thing that came to her mind was that Qin Sheng had gotten first place by cheating in the exam. When the students of class 1 saw that even people like Qin Churu and Su Yixiu, whom Liang Hua liked, had been reprimanded, they did not even dare to breathe loudly. Liang Hua was really furious this time. She pulled all the students of class 1 out and reprimanded them one by one. A few thin dot skinned girls were even scolded until they cried. This oppressive atmosphere lasted for a few days. The moment Liang Hua left the classroom, Qin Churu gritted her teeth and chased after her. Teacher Liang Hua had just vented her anger in class 1 and her anger had subsided quite a bit. At this moment, when she saw Qin Churu, she did not give her a good look either. With a sullen face, she asked, what's the matter? Qin Churu walked up to her. Teacher, about that, Qin Sheng's results won't be so good. Is there a problem? Chapter 69 She is your boss when you are listening at novelfull.audio
Chapter 69 She is your boss One Liang Hua's face darkened even more. Don't worry, she didn't cheat. As for you, Qin Churu, you got 11th place this time. Think about it carefully. In the past, Liang Hua liked Qin Churu very much. But now, she would bite almost anyone she met. Qin Churu had failed the exam again, which made her lose face. She didn't like Qin Churu anymore. At this moment, Qin Churu was talking to her about Qin Xing cheating. She was at gunpoint. Liang Hua did not look at her anymore. Qin Churu stood where she was, her face pale. On Hong Yuan's side, Fu Hanchuan had allowed him to successfully register the company. The company's location was an office building on the first floor. It was not big and could form a company with more than 30 people. Now that the company was in its infancy, it did not need to be big. H City was only a temporary office location. Qin Xing's goal was to build the company's headquarters in the capital. Hong Yuan had only found eight people. His requirements were high, and the people he recruited had to be capable. Moreover, he had to be strict with their character. Hong Yuan did not want a second Du Kaiyuan to appear. That would be a fatal blow to the company. He had already been implicated by that kind of person. He would never allow such a person to appear in Qin Xing's company again. Now, the people in the company had gradually arrived at their posts. Yu Bei had also arrived in H City under Qin Xing's arrangements. Today, Yu Bei would be arriving at the company. Qin Sheng had arrived very early as well. Yu Bei will be coming over today. Their computer skills are very high. Uncle Hong, help them arrange their office positions later. Hong Yuan nodded. Okay. Hong Yuan had already contacted Yu Bei. He also had a rough idea of Yu Bei's situation. Now that he heard that Yu Bei was coming to work at the company, he was also looking forward to it. Hong Yuan could be said to be in complete admiration of Qin Sheng now. From what Yu Bei said, Qin Sheng was even more amazing than him. Qin Sheng was also able to come up with that all dot intelligent game. Just how much strength was Qin Sheng hiding? Around 10 o'clock, Yu Bei also arrived at the company. Qin Sheng was in the office looking at the documents Hong Yuan had given her. Manager, what do you think our boss looks like? Is he already middle dot aged, or is he someone with a beer belly? Just as he entered the elevator, Yu Bei pulled Hong Yuan and asked him nosily. He was really too curious. The other party was skilled in hacking, so he was probably not young anymore. Yu Bei was very talented. He was only 27 years old now, and he was very arrogant. However, after meeting Qin Sheng, he was dealt a terrible blow. At this moment, he only wanted to know who that person was. Hearing Yu Bei's guess, Hong Yuan thought of Qin Sheng's appearance and couldn't help but shiver. Now that they had arrived at the company, Hong Yuan walked out of the elevator. Boss is in the office. You can see her later. Yu Bei brushed his hair. I'm more handsome than him, right? Hong Yuan smiled politely and did not say a word. Yu Bei's appearance could only be considered delicate and handsome. It could not be said that he was handsome. Compared to Qin Sheng's alluring appearance, he was a completely different person. Yu Bei walked into the office and Hong Yuan followed beside him. The moment he entered, he saw Qin Sheng sitting in front of the desk. Yu Bei scanned the office and walked up when he did not see anyone else. He had one hand in his pocket and his tone was very gentle. Little sister, are you alone? Where's your father? Yu Bei never expected Qs to be Qin Sheng, the young girl in front of him. Seeing Qin Sheng now, he thought she was Qs's daughter. Normal people would not think that Qin Sheng was Qs who defeated him. Little sister, your father wouldn't dare to see me and hide, would he? Yu Bei pulled out the chair in front of his desk and sat down. He did not really think that Qs was afraid of him and did not dare to see him. He just wanted to tease Qin Sheng. Hearing that, Qin Sheng put down her pen. 
She leaned back on the chair and looked at Yu Bei with a faint smile. Yu Bei actually thought that Qin Sheng was QS when he was being stared at like that. Dot just as this thought popped up in his mind, he slapped it away. Impossible, QS could not be a little girl. Hong Yuan coughed lightly, covered his lips, and said in a low voice, She is our boss. Chapter 70 She is your boss too you are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 70 She is your boss too, I know. She's the boss's daughter. Seeing that Hong Yuan had stopped, Yu Bei thought that he had not said anything, so he added on. No, Hong Yuan looked at Qin Sheng awkwardly and continued to explain, I mean, this company is hers, not her father's. F. F asterisk CK. Yu Bei almost fell to the ground. Manager, this joke is not funny. He only thought that Hong Yuan was joking. Could QS be a 17 or 18 year dot old girl? What a joke. QS was very arrogant. No matter how he thought about it, he could not associate QS with a delicate little girl. At this moment, Qin Sheng stood up and reached out her hand. Hello, I'm QS. In the last hacker competition, I'm honored to break the record with you, Yu Bei. He stared blankly at the slender and fair hand in front of him, unable to react for a long time. She was actually QS, the person who had defeated him in the hacker competition. QS was actually a teenage girl. Hello, hello. Yu Bei quickly reached out his hand and held Qin Sheng's. I'm Yu Bei, the one who was badly beaten up by you in the hacker competition. After listening to Qin Sheng and Yu Bei's introduction, Hong Yuan stood rooted to the spot. Qin Sheng was QS. The QS that broke the record in the hacker competition. That hacker fish was Yu Bei. Hong Yuan was not in the hacker circle, but he was still a gamer. He had also gone up to watch the hacker competition, so he naturally knew that there were two people in China who had broken the record of the hacker competition that had been held for more than 10 years. QS had broken through 93 levels, and Hacker Fish had broken through 89 levels. In the hacker circle in China, even those who knew some computer technology knew of the existence of these two people. They were the people who had brought face to China. Many people wanted to know who they were, but they were all top. Notch hacker experts. Their information was naturally well protected, and there were no clues at all. Who would have thought that these two people were actually his boss and Yu Bei? Hong Yuan's mouth was wide open. He knew that Qin Sheng was capable, but he did not expect her to become a world.renowned top.notch hacker expert at such a young age. However, when he connected it to the intelligent game that Qin Sheng had designed, he did not find it too hard to accept. After Yu Bei knew that QS was the girl that he had just ridiculed, he felt that the air was awkward as he sat there. Qin Sheng tossed him a USB drive. This is the core technology of an all.intelligent game. Study it well. Yu Bei took the USB drive and held it in his hands. His hands were trembling with excitement. He wished he could turn on the computer right now and study this technology. He looked at the USB drive several times. He raised his head and was very touched. Boss, you actually showed me this technology without worry. Aren't you worried that I'll give it to someone else? Qin Sheng said coldly, you don't dare. Qin Sheng had experienced her previous life and would not easily trust others. Since she dared to give the technology to him, she naturally did it flawlessly. This technology was a very large program. There was a hidden program in the program. If someone else used it, as long as they triggered it, the computer system would be destroyed and could not be repaired. Therefore, Qin Sheng was very assured. Yu Bei as expected of QS, very arrogant. If it were anyone else, they would definitely say, I believe you, not that, you don't dare. Even though he did not dare. Then, boss, I'm going to work. Yu Bei expressed that he did not want to stay with Qin Xing any longer. Every time he stayed with her, he would be dealt a blow. He was not a masochist.